Okay, welcome back guys. Now in this video, let us have a look at some of the DB operations possible with the PHP library. So the first thing we need to do is run our MongoD server. So navigate to your bin directory, open command window over here and type MongoD. Okay, let me select this, MongoD. And this is going to start our MongoD server on port 27017. Now I'm also going to start the Apache server so that we can start working with PHP. Okay, so if you recollect from the previous video, I had a folder called PHP MongoDB. And what I have done is create a new file called demo.php and included just one line of code, which is going to require autoload.php for, and this is basically for the working of PHP library. So just go ahead and include that. And also I would like to say that I'm going to be having all the files related to this series on my GitHub page. And I'm also going to drop a link to the GitHub page uh, in the description below. Okay. Now, what we need right now is a MongoDB client that connects to our MongoDB server. So this client is going to give us the access to all the databases and the collections within them. And for this purpose, we have a MongoDB client class. And this class will be the entry point to the PHP library. So let's go ahead and create a new instance of this client. So $client is what I'm going to call my variable is equal to new MongoDB backslash client. Now this also takes a URI and is going to be equal to MongoDB colon localhost on port 27017. Now this is the URI that it takes by default so we don't have to specify it. So I'm just going to use new mongodb client and then put a semicolon. Okay now with this client we can work with the databases and the collections within the databases. So we can perform three major operations with the database. The first thing is create a new database. The second thing is we can list all the databases. And finally, we can delete a database. So let's go ahead and see how to do that. Now, we are going to create another variable called $CompanyDB to represent the database. So this $Company is going to be equal to $Client, which is our uh, MongoDB client instance and we're going to use the object operator and say company DB now this company DB is what is going to reside on our MongoDB server and this right here is just the PHP variable that we are assigning it to okay so now that we have uh, created a database we can work with collections now again with collections we can create a new collection, we can list all the collections within the database, and we can delete a collection. So let's go with creating a new collection first. Now I'm going to create another variable called result1, and this is going to store the result of the create collection operate operation. So what is the database that we need to create a collection in? It is company db. So dollar company db. <coughs> excuse me. So dollar company db and we are going to use the object operator and then create collection. And we also need to specify the collection name. Let me call this employee collection. Okay. Now we can use where var dump to know the result variable. So result one. Let's save this and let's go back to localhost demo.php. Okay, so it says the creation was successful. Okay, now we can also verify this by going back to our bin directory, open the command window here, type mongo to open the mongo shell, and then show dbs. And if you see right here, we have company db. And let's use company db and then show collections. 
Now we have employee collection over here, and then system dot indexes ind ind indexes, which is the default one. So there you go. We have created a database and we have created a collection within the database. Now let's go ahead and create another collection. Let's call this my collection. Save this and let's run our script. So again, we have created another collection. So show collections, we have employee collection and my collection. So now what we can do is, since we have multiple collections in the database, we can list them out. So over here, I'm just gonna comment out over here and then let's work with uh, listing the collections. Now we use the for each loop to iterate over the list of collections that we retrieve and we're going to be working with the company DB so we select the company DB and then the object operator and then the function we use is list collections. Now when we retrieve each collection from the list we're going to assign it to a variable called collection so this right here as a dollar collection so every uh, iteration it is going to assign the collection to this variable and we can use a variable underscore dump and dollar collection okay now let's save this and refresh and let me hit on control u and over here you can see we have my collection listed out, system.indexes, which is the default one, and then the employee collection. So that's how you list out the collections. Okay, so let me comment this again, and let's go down a bit. Okay, so we have created a collection, we have listed the collections, now it's time to delete a collection. So for that, let's create another variable, result2, which is the result of the operation, is equal to again the database which we are going to be using so company db and the method is drop collection excuse me and we need to specify the name of the collection so it's going to be my collection now let's also variable dump and then dollar result too and let's save this and we refresh it and this OK was successful and if we go over here and say show collections we see that we just have employee collection and system.indexes so that's pretty much it about collections we created a collection we listed the collections and we deleted a collection now let's do the same with database so let's create a new database called new DB and let me insert a collection so dollar result to okay we're gonna have it as it is and create collection and let's create sure we can okay new collection let's go with new collection so let me save this and refresh it okay we have created successfully okay and now we can use the client variable to list all the collections on the server list all the databases on the server <coughs> excuse me I have a pretty bad cold okay so where were we so we have created a collection so we can use okay let me comment out over here okay now our client is what gives us access to the databases so Again, we are going to use the for each loop, and this time we are going to use an instance of the client class, MongoDB client class, a dollar client, and then the object operator, and then the operation is going to be list databases. So we can have each database listed as dollar db, and this is going to help us in variable underscore dump over here, and this we can specify dollar db. Now let's save this and let's refresh and let's say control U and over here we have our company DB which is the first database we created. We have the local DB which is the default database and we have the new DB which we have just created. So that is how you list databases. Now the final thing is to 
drop a database. So again, we are going to be using dollar client is equal to, okay, sorry, I'm going to be using a result variable. So let's call it result three is equal to dollar client of, and what we need to use here is the drop database method. So drop database specify new db which is the database we want to drop okay now let's save this okay let me also dump it out so variable dump save this refresh it okay so we have dropped the new database so if we go ahead and comment out this but not our for each loop save this and refresh okay we have an error on line 36 okay yeah sorry about that i also need to comment over here okay when now when we refresh it we have deleted it Okay, we have our company DB and we have our local DB. So that's pretty much it for this video. Six main points to take away, how to create a database, how to drop a database, how to list a database, how to create a collection, how to drop a collection, and how to list collections. So in the next video, let us see how to work with documents. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.